Welcome back to the Cambridge Hotel and Conference Centre here in Red Deer, Calgary. It's day three of the Predator Women's Canada Open and what a great match we saw earlier. Ali Fisher beating Kelly in a shootout. This looks like being a fabulous matchup to Christina Zlateva from Bulgaria up against Maite Ribeiro from Spain. The game's 10 ball, two races to four and a shootout if we need one. It's cool shot, of course. And uh, I'm Mark White calling the shots with me in the booth is the lovely Dawn Hopkins. Hello, Dawn, well, again. Hello there, Mark. You'll be coming a bit of a regular in here. It's I good. like this. This is fun. Nice to have you back with us. Just want to quickly thank our sponsors. Predator Q's, of course, Q Sports Live, the WPBA World Pro Billiard Partners, CSI, Kamui, and Alpha Coin. So break off from Ropero, it's dry. And Christine Slateva from Bulgaria. Looking, there's a, there's a fly, it's flying round my <laughs> nose and it's driving me crazy. <laughs> Sorry, that's why I'm a little bit jittery at the moment. Well, I think these, the lights, they're, they're coming to the light. Go to the light. So she's got a nice straight shot here. But you can see the four and the six are a little bit in between the two, so she's gonna have to make sure to get out around those balls. Well, she's See played that she nicely. Has she gone too far, here. Dawn? Has she gone too far? It's hard to tell from this angle, but it's very close, I'll tell you that. She's looking at the three down the rail, so I think that it did come out all right. Yeah, from the yeah, overhead. Yeah, that's a nice shot yeah, there. The overhead show, didn't it? That it clearly goes so I love that nice overhead. Doing it. <laughs> yeah we've got a great production here from Kazoom very nice shot a little bit overstroked and if it goes by the five it's a very tight shot so would she play it in the side or it looks like down the rail I like it in the side you know just come back out to the centre of the table again for the four. Right, it's a natural angle yeah, to get and, out yeah, there. Yeah, and it'll give her a nice angle just to draw across for the, the five on the rail after the four. Yeah, those side pockets, as you can see from this angle, are pretty scary, though. Yeah, looking at it from that angle, it is. Mm, but she's looking at it in the side. So this is a touchy little shot. And she needs just a bit of pace. Played it very well perfect. indeed. Absolutely perfect. There's that shot now we were talking about. Can now just draw. Well, not onto the rail, but maybe close to it. Yeah, the six has a number of pockets, except for the one where the nine is. So I think getting on the five, even if she gets a little out of line, it's okay. Oh, she's missed it. I was just going to say, Christina actually beat a Spaniard in her first match. She beat Amalia Matas in a shootout in the first round. Just overcutting it, maybe, you know, thinking about that cue ball, eyes coming off the object ball and missed it thin. Well, this is close. The seven here is, uh, might be in the way. If, if so, she could come off the rail, but, oh, she could... Hit it straight, that's good. Nice stroke. Yeah, got a lot of cue power. This young lady from Spain. And she's part of an ever-growing posse, really, of great players coming out of Spain. al of course. Ruiz, young Camino Salto. What's interesting is she said that the there isn't a women's tour or anything going on in Spain for her. So she travels to the Euro ch um, tournaments and, uh, you know, plays on the amateur level or with the amateurs a little bit because that's really the only thing for her to compete in there. Oh, that's a beautiful shot. Cued that very nicely indeed. I was watching her practice. She was first in here this morning, 8 a.m. on the dot. And when she keeps her head down, she's great. But she's got this thing where she sometimes lifts her head up and her stroke disappears for a little while. We saw it yesterday. 
Yeah, that's extremely important. It's good to get in that habit where you just stay down until the ball falls in the pocket, no matter what. Even if you know it's going, it just sets a good habit. Yeah, when I used to do a bit of coaching of snooker, I used to tell players, imagine that you're staying down for your photograph on the front cover of a magazine. <laughs> I like that. Yeah. <laughs> You're going to have to use that one. Yeah, use it. You can have it. <laughs> <laughs> so she's close to this eight ball. She'll have to use her extension, not the time extension, but the extension on her cue stick. And just come back around for the nine ball. Yeah, she's a right hand up. And again, oh, she's not going to reach that. She, they hate use. They'll do anything not to use that bridge, won't they? Yeah, I don't know. I, I don't know. I don't mind the bridge if you practice Look with it. Look at this. This is so risky. So risky. All of that English, right? Makes me cringe when I see that. But what a great shot. She's played perfect on the 10. And have a look at another thing about this young lady. She's so quick around the table. Yes. The she way she walks fast around. Paced. Very fast. Very Pace. fast. Good to watch. And in it goes. Well played. So, good start, and she started well with wins against Denise Belanger, 4-1 and 4-3. And then a good win against Caroline Powell, 4-0, 4-2. And then another impressive win over Mary Ann McConnell, losing just one rack and beating her. And that's how she got through to this last 16. And by the end of tonight, we will know our final four. And then, of course, tomorrow dawn, we have two semi-finals and then the big one. The big one. And it's anybody's game at this point because um, Jerry, the tournament director for WPBA, was telling me that this is the strongest WPBA event that we've ever had with the uh, quality of the level of players in the tournament. The representation from, I think it's 12 countries. It is, yeah. It's actually 13. 13? And I'll tell you why, because Jerry actually asked me this. He was under the impression that um, he didn't realize that Ali and Kelly were under the English flag, so if you take that into consideration, apparently it's 13. Or was it you that came up and asked me, wasn't it? I think so. It was you, wasn't it? Yes, but I thought he said 12, but 12 or 13, either way. Yeah, anyway, it's it impressive, is. right? <laughs> yes, it's very impressive. And I, I love this, this feel of so many players at a high level because you can up your game even more you get motivated for some reason you sh it shouldn't take that but i think that's reality of course you need the good players don't you to 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 bolster the other players to make them raise their game and play better yes and that's what we need i think that's one reason and i can't be sure i'd have to ask kelly but she's been playing a bit with the men and i think that that's helped her game a lot yeah, she plays a lot of the men's events. And talking of that, she's actually going to play the team world championships in um, Austria. And she's playing alongside Jason Shaw and Darren Appleton. And that's a pretty formidable side right there, isn't it? Yes, it is. And Spain, of course. David Alcady. I think she Sanchez Ruiz. And a girl that we're going to see a little bit later on as well, Amalia Matas. Is in that team, so that's oh, good. Two wow. men, one women, one woman. Wow. Yeah. Same format as this. Two races to four. I mean, it has to help your game to. Whether they're men or women, if they're better players, you can learn. Oh, that's a little bit sloppy there. Left the the gap between. So a nice safety here. Yeah, both both of them have come a little bit short or not had the, the speed of the table exact for these safeties. Where's the cue oh, ball? Watch Where's the cue the ball? ball? Ooh, that was dangerous. Very. She's gonna have to go probably two rails into this. Yeah, 
Yeah, so this is kind of, uh, this is where the diamond system comes into play because it's right in the pocket and that's a... Oh. She didn't hit the diamond though, did she? No, she didn't, but, but that's a she nice hit track slightly to before learn. it. Got mighty close, oh, sorry, pardon the pun, got mighty close, or <laughs> mighty got close. <laughs> I've got to stop using that line. It's becoming a habit. <laughs> Just got to get down the other end of the table and make sure she maneuvers around all of these balls that you yeah, see and did not do it. That's careless. Yeah, Needed a bit of English. Yes. To avoid that. Come straight into it. But she's still got a shot at this two by, I believe. Can cut it in. Dawn. Run the cue ball straight back down the table again for the three. Yeah, and if you overhit this a little bit, you leave them safe. So it's not that you want to overhit it, but that that's a possibility. Very nice shot. See where it ends up. Now, will it come? A little carom on that is okay. Now I'm taking this on into the side, you know, and draw off this back rail. Four is nearby, so not too much to do with the cue ball. She's a very attacking player, Christina. Well, if she draws it, would you come? She's banking it. Okay. I don't know what that is going to. Oh, she's played she's the safe. safe. Well, yeah. she's got a nice kick on the six ball there, which has held the three on the rail. So did you get your jump stick out Ooh. for this one? Yes. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. The standard of kicking nowadays is, you know, with these new cues. I mean, this air rush that she's jumping with now, just an incredible jump cue. And just as I say that, took it you a bit quick. Her. Yeah, but you know, that was very, very quick she took that. And that is another sort of trait of Mighty. She does tend to just rush the odd shot. Look, you think she's in full swing. You know, she only took a one one and a half sort strokes, of strokes strokes yeah. at that and then hit it a bit quick but it's early days just settling down yeah i'm not a big fan of the fast play i've seen players miss too many very makeable shots just because they have rushed it or or getting out of position because they're not feeling the shot i i think pool a lot of pool is about the feel seeing the shot before it actually before you actually oh, shoot it i'm i'm with you on that one you actually feel the shot, you, vi you visualize it, you feel it, and then you get down and just stroke that feeling that you ha already have. Yes, yeah. yeah. Let your self one, is it? Did you ever read the inner game of tennis? Oh, absolutely. So what is it? What was it, the self one that's the one that just does it? Or was it the self two? I always get them mixed up. Yes. <laughs> I listened to that in bed at night back in the UK. Oh, really? Uh, yeah, I think I listened to I think it was about 10 hours, I think, on audio. Oh. And I think I listened to it over I two I did the nights. work of reading it. <laughs> yeah, I'm not a big reader. It sends me to sleep. My eyes get tired. Yeah. So here... I'm not a young spring chicken like you, Dawn. Well. Okay, back to the pool. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Does it go in the side? It's close. That nine is giving it a half a pocket. It's the position you have to worry about here. Yes. And she did it well a little bit more, and it would have been the scratch, but she's got a shot here on the six. She stays down and focuses on this. Just got a score flash for you from the other last 16 game that's still going on on the outer table. Kyoka Sonet won the first set 4-2 against Muramatsu. It's now 3-3 three, three there, Hill Hill. In the wow. second set. That's exciting. I'll keep you up to date with that one. Who wins that? We have got two stream tables for you. And we're streaming every single game from here on in. That's wonderful for the people at home to be able to have the choice of watching the matches they want. 
over stroke or not. Can she go by the nine yeah, to the she corner? Can. Yeah. Okay. Pretty sure she can. I was thinking she was coming over for the other corner. Mm. Oh, she's called it in the side. Yeah, I don't right. think she can tight. get by the nine. That's why I think she overstroked it a little bit. A touchy little shot. Oh, she, we are on a shot clock here. 30 second shot clock. And now she's used her extension. She's ended up rushing mm. this. And now she's left a shot. And that is, well, it was careless to get out of position in the first place. And then she just seemed to forget all about the clock. And I guess, you know, if you're not used to playing with a shot clock on a regular basis, why think about it? <laughs> right, right. Well, it, it's, in my experience here, um, this clock was new to me, the beeping and the, so, but it was wonderful to be able to see it instead of ha not being ha having a visual to see where you yeah, were at. Yeah, just to explain to viewers, well, you can see it on your screens as well, of course, underneath the score, that little yellow bar that runs across, it's 30 seconds. When it gets down to five, it just starts beeping, and it'll beep five, four, three, two, one, and then uh, and if you haven't played your shot by then, it's a foul. Right, and I did that last night with the ball in hand because I forgot that I had a timeout. I didn't have a timeout left, so an extension. So you really have to pay attention. It can cost you. So a little test up of a 10 ball here to take the second rack. Mary Therese is her name, but she goes by Mighty. You know what's really interesting about her? She is a... Brilliant shot. 2-0, Mighty leads. Carry on. She's a uh, very good surfer also. Is she? Yes. So she... Uh, so she's got balance. She's got balance, and that's what she said. She said the thing she loves about being a surfer is she's out there. It quiets her mind. It's, it's like training for pool because it, it's a zen moment. She's out there. She has to feel the wave which is kind of like what we do at the table, feeling the shot. Just interrupt you very quickly there. Look, there's the beautiful arena where you can see the other game going on at the moment be between Kyoki Sona and Muramatsu. And then in the background, all those seven football tables where the Canadian, the Western Canadian championships are going on on the new bar box, the new seven foot predator. Back to the main arena then. And mighty to break off in a comfortable position. 2-0, looking to break and go on the hill. Well, that wasn't the most uh, powerful break and probably she hit that off a little bit, right? Well, no, it, it no. looked like she hit that I think actually it, pretty good. Yeah. Maybe the loose ball in the rack or something. Yeah, I think that that's what it kind of looks and it, like. That acts as like a buffer soaking up the the power rather than giving it the kinetic energy it needs to spread. Right. It just takes one ball. Very difficult, of course, to get them all. Look at that 310. That may come up an early game if somebody can get to the other two balls. Yeah, and this almost, you know, this is dangerous because it could be about the one ball here, this game. Mm -hmm. She's going to push. Well, yeah. there, she's making it a little more difficult for this game to... Uh, yeah, I think that's what she tried, but it's a, I think it's still quite an easy combo, but... You know what? Uh, to me, I'm pushing and I'm thinking I'm going to end up with the advantage, right? Because I feel like I'm gonna outsafe this push. So if it's a, it's kind of a, do you, do you tie things up? Because that makes it more hard for you if you do succeed in your chess play on the safeties. Yeah. This is a nice shot. Played that very well. It was a very touchy shot, full length of the table one ball near to this rail and she's played a great shot. Look 
at this. Nice stroke. Very good speed. Very good speed indeed. That was a good movie, that Keanu Reeves. Jump stick is out. Just got to watch the scratch on the side if the cue ball draws back a little bit. Good effort. Very good effort. And she hasn't left it. I think we might see the same sort of shot here again, though. From Mary Therese. Yeah. Just played the one ball. Pass that little pack. And leave the cue ball behind the 10. Yeah, there's Somewhere a lot of, area. you know, of blocks, aren't there, there? Yeah, it's pretty wide. If you look at it from uh, that angle, it's it's a very wide pack of balls. That's okay as well. That's good. She's got cover. There's one rail kick on here, though. Top rail. She'll be calling this bottom corner, I would think. Yeah, there you are. Would you go the other way? I'd go the other way. I thought she was going to go the other way, to be Maybe honest. Maybe because of the six? Like she didn't want to shoot over the six? Yeah, could be that. Oh, that's a great hit. Oh, look at that. And look at this for cover, she maybe. She speed. Well, we she might be seeing speed. a jump stick again. That's what I would do. Bring out the jumpy jumpy. Are you a fan of the jump being uh, a part of the game? Um, yes and no. I love the, the talent of having to know the rails and the kicks, but I do think the jump is an exciting thing for the fans. And there is, um, there's also oh, talent in that. It's just more. This. Yeah, I, I agree with you, Dawn. But, you know, sometimes a kick isn't the best shot to play because you know you've got a chance at the pot yes by jumping over a ball where you can't kick at the pot so it's a, i think it's a skill that deserves its place in the game yes yes i agree and what it does as for for me is it makes me think about tightening up the gap between the cue ball and the ball that i'm playing safe behind exactly if you don't want people to jump glue the cue ball to the snookering ball right. and then they can't jump right that's right there you go right that's that sorted out we're sorting out everything <laughs> this morning <laughs> it's this afternoon now isn't it of course this is our second game of six so here's where the uh tie up is with the two seven yeah, she's can where is she hmm. now did christina push that seven over I forget was it her that did the push or was it Maria I don't remember I like thinking about that because again did she make it harder for herself now well possible bank here I think now has that six destroyed the 310 oh, combo. Good. I didn't even look at I that. I think it might have done. I'm not sure. A little safe here, is she playing? Yeah, a little safe. I don't know where she's trying to she go with that. She hit that way too thick. She's she got, she got away with it. She has. Yeah, I'm sure she was trying to hit that a lot thinner to, you know, not move that two ball as much. I know you've got your own style, but are you a fan of these T-shirts now, that the new pool T-shirts that all the players, are, or most of the players are wearing, I should say? Um, I think that they're great. It's a new market, and I think anything in the sport of billiards to, um, it, to promote and... But I'm old school, and I really like to dress up. I can be a girly girl sometimes, even though I'm a tomboy. So I like my shiny, glittery shoes and. and oh, I think glittery shoes should be allowed. They are. Oh. I wore them here. Oh, well, there you are then. Yes. But I think. We I see a lot of your feet, you know, when you play. Yes. Ball. <laughs> yes. <laughs> We've got a tough shot here because we've got the two, and really the only thing she can do is just kind of keep it up there near the two. 
and wants to have a shot on the, the three, but she's going to have to probably play a safe, I would think. I think she'll draw this. She's so aggressive, this girl. Wow. Great. Well, look at that nice, nice kiss shot. as well. See, I can't do that, and that's why I wouldn't have called that. <laughs> yeah, lots of Q power, this girl. That's really nice shot. So here we're going to find out if this goes or not. She's Look. looking at it. Yeah. She's looking at it. I'm guessing she called it. The cameraman thinks she called it as well. Look. Oh, did she? She did, I think. Didn't make it. That's okay. Okay. Decent safety. And just to let you know, we have a result from our outside table. There was a fierce battle going on over there. And Kyoko Sone has beaten Miramatsu in straight sets, I believe. I went to confirm that, but I think pretty sure that's what happened. I just saw the shaking of the hand. Kyoko beat me last night. I really like watching her play. She's a wonderful person, she's very sweet. And um, she has a super nice stroke. I really like her game, very steady. Yeah, she will be in the last eight. Losers in this round, guaranteed $1,425. And if you win this round, you're guaranteed 3,000. That'll pay a few bills. That would pay a few bills. So here's straight in shot on the three. But it's going to have to come around to do something. I like Ralph first here yeah. on this one. Oh, she went straight at it. Again, a lot of cue power. Finished a little bit awkward, though. Uh, it was hard to get it out of, out of that pocket. Needs to get around that seven ball. I think she has the angle for that. Talking about money, semi-finalists. Guaranteed at least 6,000. Runner-up will get 12. And the Canadian, the inaugural Canadian champion will win a massive $18,000. That's nice. That would pay even more bills, Dawn. Yes. I'm looking for a buy-in. I want to get back in the tournament. Yeah, she managed just to miss that seven ball. Now then, how's it looking on the five? Not no. very good. No. She's now, got could choices. She, could she play it up in the corner and slide the cue ball just a little bit? And if she misses, she's behind the ten? I think maybe a little bit too thin to hold it behind the 10 but she can certainly play a little bit of safety off it or just play the safety and play the cue ball behind the 10 anyway and refuse the pot just like that there you go that's, that's a good the shot that's shot. a winning shot right there now i think well will she jump this uh, this is so close and the last time she tried a ball this close she did yeah, not make and it and that won't give her a lot of confidence will it so she's going to kick this two, maybe three rails. Maybe she might hit a third rail here. I'd call the side pocket here. She's called that pocket. She's going one rail. And there's the two, the brother's grim look. <laughs> Vincent Roachfort. Yeah, well, I didn't like, one rail. I didn't like going mm -hmm. one rail at that, especially being so close. Yeah, missed it by about Five inches. There they are, look. There to capture every moment. To be held forever in history. That's, it's really nice as a player to see those pictures out there. Because you're in the moment, of course, and to have a, a memory of that is great. Yeah, do you know what I like? At the end of a tournament, when all the photos go up and a post about the tournament and you get to relive all those moments. And, you, and come on, be honest with yourself. I do the same. 
You're just hoping to see a picture of yourself, Absolutely. right? Absolutely. <laughs> I'm flipping through going, that's not me. That's not me. I know. <laughs> and you keep swiping and swiping. And you just don't see one. Oh, I'll just chop. There must be one there somewhere. Well, you know, <laughs> pool players do have a little bit of, um, I don't know, ego. You need I an guess. ego. You need an ego. Of course you do. <laughs> right. Now then, chance for Christina to get back into this match. Yep, she's got a nice straight shot on this. But I'll just finish that thought by saying just as, just as fun is when you see shots from 25 years ago of all the people that you used to play with. So that history is being saved by them taking the pictures and putting them out there, which is a great thing. Don't big them up too much. Their heads will swell. Oh, this has gone wrong. Where was she going with this? She was trying to get too perfect, I think. She really she overhit that, didn't she? Well, look at how much. She I think she just overhit it. Just got too much, much into the cue ball. Yeah, that's a lot. Is that nerve? Oh, that is a real let off. Nice bank. Oh, yeah. I lost the cue ball again a little bit, though. But I think she's got to play this into the top left. Very nice bank. Good comeback Great on bank. that. Another little tester, though. Yep. Down on the cue ball again. Oh, she's going up into the top right hand corner this is a tough shot blind pocket yeah back cuts are are not you can't see the pocket as well with your peripheral vision she's played it wow. beautifully managed to hold the cue ball down this half of the table would have liked a little bit of english on that just to make this 10 a little bit easier In it goes, and she comes back to within one. Two one then, mighty leads. Our second last 16 game of the day, looking to get into that last eight, the quarterfinals. It's always nice to get there, isn't it? It's horrible to fail just before, you know, and the money doubles, right? Yes. I know. I'm very sorry. I didn't realize what I just said. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. There's You'll the be back. You'll there's be back. There's the next one. There's, there's always an another one. Yeah. There's another game just started on our other stream tab. If you want to have a look at that, go to Q Sports Live on Face on the, sorry on YouTube, and you will see Joanne Ashton, part of the famous Ashton Twins, a crazy couple, great fun, lovely girls. Got a beautiful pool hall called the Hidden Spot here in Calgary, and she's playing against the New Yorker, Ashley Burrows. And I, I'm so sorry for my New York accent. <laughs> so the table breaking off. No ball, possible one, two combo. Difficult bridging over the seven ball. Again, those balls not wanting to separate. Yeah, they're not really breaking well. I don't really like trying to play this because it's a, a sellout if you miss and you, you've got too much going on, jacked up over a ball. I think just a safety sender. The one ball up and down the table. That cue ball over behind the nine. That's the shot here, I believe. Just steadying herself. And I like to see that because sometimes she does rush shots. Didn't really play much of a shot there. Don't know what she was trying. Maybe she was just thinking distance. that if, because the eight was there, just to put the one on the rail to make it a hard shot. Or she didn't hit it hard enough to get behind the other balls. Yeah, it was diffi very difficult queuing as well, wasn't it? Yeah. Over that seven ball. See, I think we should have a mic on them and an earpiece so we can just ask them questions. Like, what were you thinking? Oh, about? listen, I think we should have head cams, <laughs> microphones, heart monitors. <laughs> oh uh, yeah, heart in, monitors Invent some great. kind of yep. thought <laughs> recorder. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Look out for the cue ball. Wow, she's had a little, it's just a nice one rail kick here though. Yeah, she can stick the 
not stick it, but uh, hit the left side of the one a little bit. I'll be calling the side pocket as well, just in case, depending how much she gets behind that one ball. Look at the two ball. It's even worth just going for the kick. If you can get enough there that she's looking at it, does it kick in the side? I, don't, I think I would hit it thin yeah. on the side she's pointing to so that the cue ball comes back behind all these balls and send the one up to the other end. Half ball hit on like it, that, just a little like too that, hard yeah. though, way too hard. Yeah. But she did have the clock beaten down and that's kind of a scary thing. That'll give you the yips for sure. Yeah, it gives you that quick shock, doesn't it? You're not expecting it, <laughs> and it comes. I call it a shock clock. Shock. <laughs> You're pretty funny, Mark. Oh. Had an opportunity there. Oh, she's got away with it though. Well, here's a. I'll tell you what I love here. What do you like? Going behind the eight ball, thin off the right hand side as she looks. And get behind that eight. What do you like? You tell me what you like. I think you're right because um, even if she doesn't get behind the eight, she's not selling out. Yeah. She can catch it so fine that she barely moves the one ball and leaves it, you know, a bit of cover behind the three even, maybe. Yeah, she's no, gone the see, other that way. Was, so I don't that was like risky. That. I don't yeah. like that. Why did she go that way? Yep. I don't think she looked at the other shot, you mm -hmm. know. No. It wasn't the shot, I'm afraid. Right. My opinion, of course. Yes, I'm with your opinion. And I think if she yeah, were to do it over, she'd probably be with your opinion. <laughs> What's she doing here? She's going three fouls, is she? She yes. is. Yes. Get off the rail. And look at that. This is That's a great see, shot. I, I like that. I like putting the one away from the rail because it takes away, it, it makes the ball a lot easier to hit if it's near the rail. Because yeah. you can come the ball's, in short, the ball's bigger, long. isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. The ball's bigger if it's near the rail. And she's put it by the nine ball too. And look how tight. Now there's no jump there. That's <laughs> what you want. <laughs> yeah. And there you see the predator. I'll cost two balls. And if you look very closely on a close up, you can see. Oh, this is a girl. Oh, uh, no, it's gone wide. Yeah. Good try. Good attempt. Good attempt. And now a guaranteed lock in behind the nine ball for the three foul, she will be warned. But where would you put the one? You've got to hit a rail. Referee John Lehman just said, you're on two. So you want to, again, you want to, this is, oh, she just missed it. But this is extreme strategy here because you've got to put the one in a place where she's not going to be able to hit it with a rail. Yeah, make sure she hits it hard enough to hit a rail as well. She hasn't made a rail. See She's that? not going to make a rail. Oh, oh dear, oh dear. Big what a opportunity. mistake. Big opportunity missed there. That was huge. Trying to get it too difficult, you know? Yeah, I would have come over one rail on the side and just bring the one up behind that group of balls. Now, what Mighty is trying to work out is where the one ball's going. She's obviously going to play the, is she going to play the combat? No, she's not. She's playing a safety. She's going back at a safe. But I don't know. She's going safe behind the, behind the four. Yeah, I don't, that's, that's not, not really hard a enough. strong safe. That's not hard enough well, either. And she, and she left a jump or maybe a kick. So both players may be just suffering a little bit at the moment from you know, not wanting to take too many chances, but I think that was the time to go for it, to be honest. See, I love this part of the game because most people want to get up and just shoot. They want to have a nice, easy layout and shoot. When you start to do this, it tightens players up. They're not free stroking anymore. No. They're and then when finally you do get a chance, your it timing's gone, you, you, yep. you, you don't feel your stroke. Right. Yeah. She's looking at a very, well, I wouldn't say very difficult, but it is 
it's not that's a gimme, is it? No, it isn't. It's missable and no guarantee of having a shot on the run afterwards. She hits it real slow. See, that was too hard, yeah, I, I think. don't like that shot, I'm afraid. She had a nice chance of a safety there. Bank the one ball up and down and put lead the cue ball behind the nine. Okay, so now the table's opened up quite a bit, except for the seven and the ten. I mean, the four and the ten. It's so easy sat here, isn't it? It is. <laughs> I play perfect from here. Oh, me too. I I'm sure everybody from home does too. I haven't missed a shot. <laughs> So she's lefty. Is she lefty? Yeah. yeah. So she can reach this pretty good. Oh, she didn't strike that very nicely. A little bit of a. Well, coming stabby. to the middle of the okay. table is not bad, no, though, right? Okay, yeah. I like middle of the table play. Just looked a little bit of a heavy contact for some reason, that. Maybe not enough high on the cue ball. Yeah, so here's the where the four and ball. ten come into play that I was talking about. It's uh, it's tricky if you because if you spin it over. It does go in this corner though. She's going up and down, and this oh. is a good shot. I like this shot. Look oh, this. slow up, slow up, slow up. Look at that. Oh, going a little bit too far. That was a decent shot, that though. Yes, nice stroke. Just perfect it uh, slightly. line. Perfect. Yeah. So it's an easy safe if, if it doesn't go in the side pocket, just stick it behind the 10 ball. Just like that you said. See, and even on that, I, I would like hitting it a little bit harder to get the four out into the middle of the table. The five's blocking the one rail kick from the one side. Now she's got a two rail kick coming into that four that's very easy. Hit. Oh, oh scratching the let side. Let go of the cue ball. There's no control here. This was hit very hard, right? So I'm assuming she called up in this corner. Yeah, I, but think, I think she was trying to get some separation, maybe. So a real chance here now. Just roll forward for the orange five. Slow down, slow down. You want a little angle, but not too much. Yeah, it might have to put something on the cue ball here now to avoid scratch. the pocket. And the nine, of course, is there also. That could spoil the party. Maybe uh, inside English. What do you think? A little inside? Oh, oh. Not much, but... Try and hit it a bit finer. Play it into the other that's side. Of perfect. The, oh, that's perfect. Look at that. Don't go straight, well, though. Too perfect. <laughs> oh, don't go straight. Oh, she's well, from the look on her uh, face. Yeah. It, was a, it was really a nice shot, nice played, but in this game, straight that. is dangerous. To go off the rail and try to create something. Yeah, she's going to be using a lot of power here unless she just takes her medicine. Yeah, that's uh, mm. asking a lot, I'm afraid. Oh, look at the 10 8 now. So it's all about the six to the seven. Yes. And we're going to see that big draw stroke once again from the Spaniard. I'm going to steady this. Yeah, it's a thing of beauty when it comes off. And watch how she gets really through the cue ball, cuts it in half. Watch how loose her wrist is in the back. You know, you've got to have a nice loose wrist on that back. Head up. Jumped up on the shot. Won't want that eight to drop. Right, another little tester here. There you see a head up. Yeah. Cue up. Any when you think of the millimeters we're talking about in this game, mm -hmm. it's it really is about you know eighths of inches and stuff like that. I I, I don't know. You don't do. Millimeters, do you? You do uh, 
inches. I have no idea what you're talking about. I know you do. (laughs) A little bit. (laughs) It's about small fractions, this game. Yeah, thank you. You know, if you you lift up, then if your tip deviates away from the line, just by a fraction, you're changing the whole dynamic of the shot. Absolutely. And that's something that she does, you know, quite often. I have a friend who... Every player does it. All players do it. Maybe not quite as often, but a lot of players, a big problem with coming up. It is. I always say, pretend like you have a book. Pretend like you're in that My Fair Lady movie and you have a book on your head. Deportment, my dear, deportment. (laughs) (laughs) Eliza Doolittle. Eliza, I love that movie. It's every girl's dream. Yeah, and there's a great so the rain in Spain falls mainly on the plain. <laughs> yes, the but right you say that naturally. See, I have to pretend like I'm English to do that. And it's raining for our Spaniard over there at the moment. There's that extension she's put on her cue. And we're two, two, so f- a nice little lead Rapero had, unfortunately, has disappeared. And I can tell you, on the outer table, that match is still in the first rack. There's a real safety battle going on between Joanne Ashton. And we're going to come back in a couple of minutes. warm welcome back to the Predator sponsored inaugural Women's Canada Open here in the beautiful Red Deer Cambridge Hotel and Conference Centre where we are locked 2-2 in a battle between Christina's Lateva there you see on your screens about to break against mighty Rapero from Mallorca in Spain. Let's see how much power she gets into the shot. Well, that looked pretty solid. That one was a pretty nice hit. Did not make a ball, but they are definitely spread nice. She hit that pretty, pretty full. Yeah, it's got a. She can maybe cut this into the side. It's a bit of an acute angle, but we know she's quite attacking. Don't think it banks. 
Yeah, I'm thinking safe. I'm thinking bring the cue ball to the left. And there's so many balls right there in the middle. Yeah, good call. Nicely behind the three here. If it slows up, wants oh, a little touch on it. Oh, all those balls. And I think she's okay. Yeah, she's but I think she left a jump. A jump or... Uh, well, she can kick it. No problem from behind. Right. Just a lot of left hand English. Yeah. And She's right calling so. it so yeah. she can see it. Yeah. Just in case. No, she's going to kick this off the back row, I think. She called it. Yeah. Oh. Like that. Just like oh, that. Oh, I was thinking she called it. That was great. She, she called that. Yeah, ju you know, it's one of them that you call just in case you make it, because otherwise right. you make it and you don't call it, then you give the shot up to your opponent. Right. Or they can give it back to you, That's can't right. they? So, you know, it's uh, even if they don't get anywhere near it, they'll still call it. Well, it doesn't go... Oh, she didn't call it. She did. She, she called did. Yeah, it in the side. Yeah, she called it. Yeah. But um, but because the, the five is up there, otherwise you'd call it up into the corner. Nice shot there. Very oh, nice. She's got a nice result there. Now the problem. This is going to be hard to hit. Look at this. She got right over the ball. She would only had to go over a portion of the four, which was good. And got a beautiful safety. There's not a lot of options here yeah, for this rails. Is, this is not nice, is it? She'd have to go two rails. You might even hit a third. Very yeah, good. Very, very good nice hit. shot. Great hit. Some good safety here. I think I'm enjoying this battle. Yeah, I like this. And talking of battle, the next stop. And I'm going to ask you, are you going to Battle Creek Look at in you Michigan? making this connection there from <laughs> battle to battle. I used to work on radio, you know. Uh -huh. So you, do, you need these little corny <laughs> little links between songs, you know. Yes, we're going to be in Battle Creek, Michigan, right? Yeah. And I'm looking forward to that, to another tournament. and uh, The 21st of September we start there. I hope you've booked your hotel. I think I, my roommate did. Who yeah. do you room with, if I may be so bold as to ask? Um, this one I roomed with Susan Williams, who was very kind to bring snacks. I like that. That's how I pick my room. Is that the way to your room, is it? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> snacks. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and Laura Smith, who's another uh, veteran on the tour, is uh, she's usually my roommate. Lovely lovely people i like being around kind no drama people yeah, I've, I've noticed in the evenings when play is all over all the put more a lot of the players are sat together talking and having fun together really are a good oh, group of people it's a nice family um the, every tournament that you go to you're a big portion of them are the same people at every event so we're fierce on the table, and but then Friends after that, you're out to dinner together, you're having drinks together. Nice safety there. Again, Maitek will find herself in trouble. Yeah, that was very good cue control. I'd go, what, two rails here, right? Go behind it instead of the one rail kick. Yeah. Although the only reason she might go one rail is if she tries to make the the three in the corner. Yeah, which would I you choose? Know. I, I don't like know. kicking behind it, to be honest, but yeah. to try and get separation. She's going straight at it, I think. She is. And it was a good hit. It was a very good, solid hit. And I always say, if you get a good hit on the ball, then you've got every chance of getting something from the shot. You know, if you don't hit it, it's ball in hand, of course. Yes. Touchy shot here. She could try to cut it into the side. But the position for the four is not easy from that. Awkward queuing through the pocket. Although on these predator tables, that's a nice picture. flush pocket. Look at that picture. Yeah, that's great. <laughs> uh oh. Oh. Uh, you were talking millimeters, right? That's yes. 
What are millimeters? I don't understand. <laughs> <laughs> well, I actually do understand millimeters. I was teasing. Oh. Yeah. Oh, I think mm. this is another two rail kick behind this five. I see the seven and the ten are tied up a little bit. Yeah, behind the five, some right hand English. You might even hit a third rail as well. She's going to go one oh, rail or the other way. Two, two rails maybe down this way. Calling the four in the corner. Using our friendly bridge. I call that the Batman bridge. I do reminds too. Me of, do you? Yes. Oh, we're peas in the pod. We are. It looks like Batman's wings. It certainly does, yeah. It's my favorite bridge, actually. Oh, look actually. at this. Look at this. So what do you think about this seven? Does think it goes in the side from the one side? Honestly, I'm not sure. The only thing I do know is it's close to the six, and I think it might just squeeze past that ten ball there. Great. Yeah. I think it just goes. Because that's where the trouble is going to come. Is yeah. It might even come in this bottom. Does it go in this bottom right-hand corner as well? I don't. It's awfully close. We're soon going to find out. Good shot there. She's got a good side of the five to be able to get down for that six ball. Yeah, we're going to see the lovely draw shot if she of Mary Therese here. Let's see if she keeps her head down on this one. You remembered, right, from the last one. Yeah. The last one on the six, she lifted her head up, didn't she, and yes. wobbled it. You don't want to overstroke this too much either. It's a feel shot like that. Beautiful. Perfect. Okay, so we're going to find out here what's going on with the seven. Yeah, she's gonna, now, if, it's, if she's a doubtful, if she's doubtful that it doesn't go past the ten, I think she might even have an, has she got an angle here? A slight one? Mm, not really. So I think this goes in the side, you know. You see her playing a little bit of left hand just to try and force it over. Mm. Now this is one of those shots, Dawn, that's a lot easier if you're behind it, straight in on it. Oh yeah. But if you can't see it. Well, because your peripheral vision now can't see the pocket, the 10 is kind of. She's always got the option of the the hook. It's an easy hook behind the 10 if she wants to play it. Is it? You think? I don't, I don't know. Stun the cue ball, send the seven around. Oh, I see what you're saying. Three rail the but seven. I think, yeah, I think she's going for it, though. I think she's come round again if it several goes times. In, yeah, if it goes in the side, you've almost got to. It did no, go. Nicely played. She's overdone it. Yeah. Oh, dear, oh, dear. But mm. I must say, I didn't think you could overcut that. Did it just catch the 10 there? It did. I thought it cut. Did it? Oh, catch the 10? Yeah. I didn't watch the replay. This is a thin one. Expect her to make it though. Oh, 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 oh. She's okay. She's good. She's good. Now she's going to have to stroke it. Look at that beautiful shot. She used a little low English to get it around these, the nine and the ten. Yeah, very nice shot that. So now this is a stroke shot. She's going to use a little low right-hand English. Bring the cue ball over to the rail, maybe back out around the the ten. Oh, it didn't. It's okay. That's not she what I was it. thinking. She potted it a bit thick there, which altered the angle. This is okay, though. Yes, she's good. Just a slow roll and play that 10 in the side. She doesn't look very happy, though, about the last shot. Hey, if you make it and you're at the table, you have to let it go and just move on. Mm. 
Thanks. She stroked in, perfect on the 10 ball. And who would have thought that she'd be reaching the hill first when she was 2-0 down. And she is, and it goes with a beautiful shot. Solid stroke on the 10 ball. Could be first. Joanne Ashton on the outside table has taken the opening rack against Ashley Burrows. Joanne, of course, from the UK, moved to Canada when she was 13 years old. Not alone, of course, with her parents, with her family. You know, I didn't know that. Did I didn't you know not? that she lived in the UK. Yeah, she's, she's English. She lived in the UK until she was 13. And then her parents emigrated to Canada. And now they've got that. You're looking at me as if you don't believe me. Well, because I, she just <laughs> told me that she lived her whole life in Calgary except for four years. Well, she's lying to one of us. Yes. We'll have to. We should get to the bottom of this. <laughs> we need some investigators on the case. <laughs> Christina breaking off in. On the hill, looking to make a ball, run the table and take the first set. That's a great hit. Good break. Is that nine going to go? Oh, oh, it's not. So close. So a chance for Mary Marie Therese. Better known on her back, as you see there. Look, my debt. Almighty. So I think she's got a natural angle. And this round, two rails. A little bit awkward queuing, though, isn't it? Yes. Run it yeah. around two rails. And if you try to make it in the top right corner, you have to worry about the scratch. If you make it in that corner, you're jacked up more over the yeah, seven ball. Shot. Perfect view there, look. That's what she sees. She's played oh, it. Oh, scratched anyway. Scratched oh in the gosh. other side. Yeah, it's because, it's because she caught it too thick, which is why she scratched. Look. That's too thin, sorry, rather, I should have said. Yeah, that's disappointing, I'm sure. It was a tough shot. What a great name to have in this game, Mighty. Yeah. Right? Yeah. <laughs> it's like an automatic nickname. I'm sure I asked you this time, last time, sorry, but um, a lot of people might not have been watching last time. What's your nickname? Hippie. Hippie, Hippie. Hopkins. Hippie Hopkins. <laughs> this if a name a like Hopkins, you should be a good jumper. Hoppy Hoppy. Hoppy Hopkins. Hippie Hoppy. Hippie Hoppy. Hippity Hop. <laughs> Hippity Hopkins. I thought about that one. Actually, that's a very new nickname that I'm not sure that I'm settled in. Which with. one? Hippie. I've never had a nickname before until recently. Well, oh, look at that. Beautiful. Beautiful. No reward no here reward on the though, three. No. We can ask the people in the, although we're not watching the chat, we can ask people and you, we can go and check out the chat later, guys. And uh, we need a nickname for Dawn Hopkins. <laughs> Do you have a nickname? I didn't think to. No, I'm not really a player. I've, I'm called a lot of things, though. <laughs> No radio personality nickname? No, not really. I've been caught, I think somebody came up with Mark the Mike once or something like that, but I didn't really like that. Oh. Oh. Okay, that's not good news for... Good solid hit on it. Could have gone better though. Yeah. Worst mm -hmm. possible result. Left it over the side right the pocket. It's a very easy looking out here. Um, uh, meaning nothing tied. Of course, it gets difficult if you get out of position. That was a good shot. It was perfect. Left plenty of angle. No right on the cue ball now. Missed the six. Well, it doesn't really matter if you hit the six as you come across. Oh, 
Oh. And trying to work that cue ball. We've seen it many times. We see it all the time in the booth when players take their concentration off the object ball and they're thinking of the cue ball. I didn't really see her move or anything. Maybe just got down on the ball wrong. Just it maybe you just moved her eyes. You know, just as simple as that. Looking to see where they get. And normally you miss those balls thin, like she did there. If you're what did she call that? The five. Oh, she has to kick out. Of the at corner. This. That was a a big roll for Maria. Yeah, you know, to get lucky, that. Very lucky there. They say there's no luck in ten ball. Well, there's no lucky pots, of course, but there's still that element of luck. As we saw there, Christina got away with murder there. <laughs> well, here the four isn't really the problem. It's where the cue ball is going to be running. She's called an extension. The five is sitting out in front of the pocket, so it's just like candy, but you want to watch the cue ball running into the eight or the nine. Oh, jeez. That's the problem. When you run into balls, funny things happen. I think, well, I was thinking she sh maybe should have dr drawn around the eight ball left a longer shot on the five, so I'm not really. Yeah, this is a chance for Mighty to get back some confidence. Oh, that's not the best of shots either. It's a long way away. You see how quick she played that? Yes, she's excited to get up there and shoot and. Uh, Maybe, well, Kelly's pretty fast also, but I think in general, that's not, you, you really need to slow down, make sure you feel that shot. So a little out of line still. Just gonna take it in the side pocket and come behind the nine, I mean behind the seven. Slow down, wants it to slow down. A little bit thin. I just don't expect her to make it though. The eight is near the pocket, but you just don't want to be on the other side of the table from the seven, because then the eight, you may not have a shot on the eight. Oh, beautiful shot. Great shot. Straight Way to stay nice. with it. Now needs to make a decision here how she's going to play this eight. Is she going to go four rounds with the cue ball or can she hold it? slow and played it very very nicely just stay away from that rail and this is a great shot so we could be going hill hill here spectators enjoying it <gasps> and why did oh. she hit it so hard yeah just took a swipe at Ooh. it and she's left an absolute sitter and that is a gift for the first set and now if Christina makes this the best mighty can hope for is a shootout and she'll have to win the next set to do that and it goes and that is the first set to Christina Zlateva from Bulgaria and we'll be back with a second set after a very short break.
And we're back at the Cambridge Hotel here in Red Deer, Calgary. And we've had a lovely warm welcome here. It's been a great venue. And we're on the third day. And by the end of today, we will know our four semi-finalists. And then with me in the booth, I'm Mark White, and this is uh, Dawn Hopkins. Hello, Dawn. Hello, Mark. Dawn's commentated back in the day on ESPN many times, very experienced in the booth and very experienced on the table as well. And that's why she's in here calling the shots. Well, thank you, sir. That one didn't, look at the cue ball continuing to spin. So that means that she really didn't get any power behind that break. Yeah, it's come across it somewhat. Well, she's just lost a bit of maybe confidence at the moment. That temple she missed in the last rack. She told me that uh, she practices five days a week. She takes the weekends off and she practices about two hours a day, which mm, that's not is a lot. not. No, it's not as much as I thought um, that sh she would have told me and her she has a coach, his name is Juan Carlos Exposito. What a great name. I've always wanted a name like that. <laughs> Sounds so, I don't know. Foreign. Yeah, <laughs> sexy. Yes, yes, yes. Juan Carlos Exposito. As long as you don't tell me he's a great pool commentator as well then I'll be all right. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think you have a match there for and that. With me in the booth is Juan Carlos Esposito. <laughs> <laughs> and Mark White. Yeah. <laughs> so, no real shot on the one. I don't know what you can do here, really. I think just um, maybe I would kick off the rail and try to put the one yeah, watch the scratch behind though. the six. Oh, she's yeah. okay. She could hit it thick enough. Well, she's had to sell mm. out. There's, I don't know what she could do there, really. Not a lot. No, you have to hit this perfect to go s full into it. And I think she needed to come a little bit more down the rail for that. Look at that. You can just see the arena lights, the Predator arena lights. See them in the little circle Beautiful. there around. Yeah, they really put out so much light and they really have changed the face of lighting the, the rack too the rack too it's different than anything I've ever seen very innovative oh good hit very nice yeah the, ra the rack the is sort of futuristic oh. looking as well isn't it it is that was a really nice solid hit that though right Look at how close the cue ball came. I thought it was going to scratch. Tough little start. It's all about the angles, right? So you've got an eight on one rail. So if you tried to cut it into the left corner, you may run into the eight. Yeah, she's calling it in there. Needs to avoid the six here. I can only say it's the pressure of playing for a place in the last eight because she played on this table yesterday. And I would say she was 50% better. She played so well yesterday, apart from the odd little mistake. Well, she chose to draw that straight out of the pocket because there's a little more control when you do that rather than using the rail. Yeah, always tricky to get the cue ball out there, isn't it? When the people take object it ball is in the in the jaws like that. Yeah, people take that shot for granted and uh, end up in trouble a lot. So here, I think if you just draw over to the rail, play the three in the same pocket, right? She might even be carrying into it. So I was kind of surprised at that. That was a nice shot. Maybe I think it was, maybe it was a little angle? bit. Yeah, exactly. I think it was a little bit too thin to draw to the rail. Okay. But judge the the carom very very nicely. And I 
know her mum will be watching. Maria. Hello, Maria. She always watches her daughter play. They're in Bulgaria. Oh, she's overhit this one. Her mum's name is Maria? I think so. Isn't they're both named Maria? No, it's Lateva, mum. Oh, oh, Christina's oh, mum. Oh, okay. Oh, I see what you're saying. Yes. <laughs> Sorry. Keep up. I know. <laughs> you're way ahead of me today. <laughs> Long shot. What's she thinking? Maybe worrying about that scratch in the corner. How to get on the, the five. Yeah, this is a horrible shot. Guy there enjoying his iced coffee. Are you an iced coffee girl? I am not. If I have coffee, I'll be zipping around the room. I bet you're a green tea person. I may herbal tea person for sure. Oh, what a great shot that this is. Was, that was Go on, nice. get up if it doesn't. Oh, I don't think she's got a path through. If she could have missed a nine, she would have been right on it. Played it beautifully, yes. didn't she? Yeah, it was a good speed if the nine wasn't there. So important now. Get a really good safety in. I like to think about when I step to the table and I don't get position, that maybe my opponent left me there and I'm glad to be back at the table. Because it can That's get you down. I like that. You know, it can get you down if you, if you don't have a good position or you mess up somehow. But it's like you're still at the table, so you have to find a way to stay positive. I think she'll go for this. Here we go. And she has the opportunity here. Yeah, I think she needs to. She's going to play the draw shot again, off the side route, back into the middle of the, back into the middle of the table somewhere. And you see, low left. Good shot. That's a very. Uh, oh, it's tough now. Yeah like to be more towards the center of the table, but... Yeah, just got into the cue ball a little bit too much. Drew it rather than stunning. So this is kind of tricky because if you, you really want to stroke it to get the low left English to take and get above the nine ball. Yeah, you can't hit it too hard. You need to really grab hold of that cue ball. Tip of that Revo all the way through, like that. Oh, mm. she's missed the f seven. Bit of movement again, if we can see the replay of that. I'm pretty sure she just lifted up slightly on that. Here we see it again. No, well, a little bit, yeah, you see, lifted up again. And it's always on those shots that she does it. She's gifted this first rack of the second set to Christina. Nothing to do with the cue ball here. Roll a bit forward. Just don't want to land on the rail. You want to hit it hard enough where you're not staying on the rail. Beautiful. Yeah, she did. She's got a nice straight shot here. Yeah, a bit like the one that Repero missed before. Maybe a little bit more difficult nearer the rail, wasn't it? And once again, though, a lot of power in that last ball. They do like to punch the ball in, don't they? They do. <laughs> it's like, take that. <laughs> so we are here. 
all day. Last day tomorrow. I can remember arriving here. Coming into this booth on day one. Thinking of all the great games we've got ahead. And all of a sudden, it's coming to an end again. Are you sad? I get really sad between tournaments. I don't know. I honestly do not know what to do with myself in between tournaments. I really don't. I just I can't wait. I can't pool. wait to get back to the next one. Start playing pool, Mark. Yeah, but then I get frustrated and annoyed with myself and because I don't put in the time, so I don't deserve to play better, I know. And you want to play as good as you used to play. Of course. I don't know, to me, any day at the table is a good day. That's a great attitude to have. Any day in the booth for me is a great day. <laughs> and it's a great day for Christina Sletava right now. Won the first set and one up in the second. Wonderful the break. Inside. Great break. Really got a hold of that one. Now then. Well, she's got a possible bank on the two if she wants. Three ball waiting. Might be worth the risk. Because safety element as well if she misses it. And if she makes it, she's got that three ball. She can play a slow shot on this. Try and get the cue ball behind the six and play the bank at the same time. Hmm. Well, she didn't worry about playing the bank, but she's got the That's behind the six. It's a nice shot. And this is, well, she's got to play this one rail. She took the sure way out. It is not, it's too close to the six for a jump. So Christina's going to be kicking one rail at it. It doesn't really play that many tournaments abroad. Mighty. I believe this is only her second. She played in the, the Germany fixture. There you see the replay, great hit. Nice and solid. Well, this is a fine opening here. It's all about that first shot, right? You have to get correct position to get down for the four. Well, she's left this a bit straight. And she had ball in. Oh, no, it's OK. She's got a slight angle. That's fine. got a hold of that lots of English lots of low and left hand English and she's overdone it well, better to be there than have the nine in the way I suppose so you want to get to that back rail and hope to bounce back out a little bit if you play it short then you got the nine to contend with There's a nice safe right there. I like that. Freeze it right up on that nine ball. Has she cut off the one route? Well, She's coming around look at how look close at, oh. that is. Oh, that's almost, but is it touching? Almost. Just about. That's, that's the way you want to play safe right there. Distinctive arrows on the cue ball. Missed it by some way. And now look at this. Stop the cue ball for the five, draw back for the six. She's obviously going to draw straight the way back then. Don't overdraw it. No, she's OK. That's nice 
nice shot. Well controlled. Perfect. So she has a choice of just rolling it forward and playing the seven in the side. She can move the cue ball a little bit more and play the seven in the corner. Just depends on that angle. Oh, look out for the eight. It could have been trouble. Playing for a difference of $1,575 in this match. Win up. Guaranteed 3,000. With the chance of going for the top prize of 18. At the moment, it looks like Christina has got one hand on that check for 3,000 minimum. So if you hit this too hard, you have to watch out for the side pocket. You gotta hit it pretty soft and it's an quite an angle, so yeah, just a nice oh, that was stroke. Beautiful, beautiful yeah. Beautiful shot. is sitting at the side pocket, so take a little bit of a look to make sure. That's one thing also players should do is walk around the table more just to see exactly what the angle is. Yeah, made sure she was pretty straight in on this. goes and she's looking very very comfortable one set up and two zero up in the second and it's just you just get the feeling that mighty is just sort of lost a bit of focus doesn't you know he's in that sort of a haze at the moment not in a good place you know you want to be in of course you need to be in a bubble like a cocoon where everything's feeling nice and you can't you don't hear anything else you're queuing smooth you've got that tranquility when you're sitting in your seat she just doesn't look like that at the moment i think she'd rather be on a surfboard at the moment she probably needs the surfboard right now maybe that's the key is close your eyes and get out on the surfboard and just let it happen i almost sent myself to sleep then <laughs> <laughs> I think everybody at home went to sleep oh, on God, that They one. normally do when they listen to me. <laughs> <laughs> right, Christina breaking off to go on the hill. Good solid hit again. Don't think she's going to get any reward. No, I'm looking in all the pockets. There's nothing in them. They're all still on the table. See if she can make something happen. And just, nobody's ever done until they're done. You know, I've seen players come back and they 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 have that almost that give up stroke, where it doesn't matter anymore. It's just yeah, just have a swing, nothing to lose, let it go. We saw in our first match of the day uh, some fish up against Kelly Fisher it was a tremendous match. Kelly three zero up in the second and ended up, well, she won the set in the end, but then lost on the shootout. Allison came all the way back at up. Really was a tremendous match, that. She's got a work cut out for her here. The yeah. two, and the three is there, but the three, I don't, I'm not sure the three is going to have a pocket. But at least make focus everything on making this two ball, and then you'll play a safe or deal with the three later. Oh, she's okay. Yes. I was going to say if she scratched there, that would be very unlucky. That was a nice shot, decent pot there. So 
You have to play the safe here. If she's going for the see this is she's, she's going, going for the for ten. It. Ten ball in the side. She's called it. Well, if she gets this, it will be an amazing shot. Well, she nearly made it, but in the wrong pocket. I think she played it into the side. Now, has that seven gone into a guaranteed combo? Mentioned big prize money, and to have big prize money, you need big sponsors, and we've got them. Predator Qs, Sports Live, the WPBA and Pro Billiard Series, global partners CSI, Kamui and AlphaCoin. Thanks to those guys. Oh, that's a very nice shot. Oh, okay. That's so clever. maybe the seven wasn't on. That Good was thinking. Imagine if that three had slowed down a little, she would have the three ten combination to be kicking at. Deep in thought, Christina. Again, one oh, rail. I don't one like rail. these. She keeps trying these. I don't like yeah. it. I'm not going two rails at them. Try and kick behind it. You know, you're never going to get any distance by playing it like that. You need to open the balls up. Really wasn't a lot of future in that shot, to be honest. No. Definitely the two, the two rails coming behind it. We kick it down over by the group of balls to the left. But this is, you know, this is all part of the learning. She'll go back with her coach, Esposito. Oh, don't keep saying that. <laughs> <laughs> well, I've got a terrific match coming up for you next. After this one, a real cracker of a game. And it's between Canada's own Brittany Bryant and Bean Hung, the number one player from Australia. Terrific player. That's coming next, 2 p.m. Mountain time. But still a way to go in this. So I think... Um, you know what I like doing here? Move that nine away from the eight player Karen. Guaranteed to be on the guaranteed to be on the seven over the side. She's coming round to have a look now. Let's see. You still have to know exactly where things are going. Because what you don't want is you don't want one of those balls to bank over into the middle of the table and then you can't see the seven. Well, she's bumped the wrong ball. It's okay though, she can just get on the eight now. It's okay, that's a pretty good shot actually. Just bring the cue ball center table again. Right. And she's on it, good shot. She's looking at the clock. Very calm nature, hasn't she? Yeah, either one of those that she bumped was a good shot, just to give the balls a little bit of a space between each other. Decent shot. Slow down, slow down. Slow down or speed up, one of the one two. Of the, yeah, one <laughs> or the other. For yeah. a left-hander though, this is, well, she's not thinking, she's thinking of playing it right-handed. She's thinking of stretching and playing this right-handed. Well, this is a brave shot. She is a lefty, right? Yeah, she's a lefty. Well, that was not. I tell you what, that was very, very, very risky. I don't know why she played that. She has an extension. She like did a John Mora. She. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. Wow. Well, that could change things now. Yeah. She's called it. Bank. I'll be concentrating on the safety here. Oh, she's got, it's okay. It's good speed. Did it with a good speed. 
but I know she's disappointed. Well, look at this. That's a big pocket over there with the 10 ball sitting there. So just bank the nine in. Even if you miss it a little bit. Yeah. Seeing a replay there of the double attempt, the bank attempt. This looks good. It looks very good. She yes. didn't even touch the she 10. She didn't even touch it. <laughs> Which Great is shot. good in a way because guaranteed now to be right on it and what a great shot that is something like this can change the whole mojo oh, of the match and you know it goes back to that shot Christina played as we see the 10 disappear you know it goes back to that shot that she played on the eight ball why stretch and play it right-handed okay stretch and play it with your correct hand but don't stretch and play it with your wrong hand yes even unless you're like super good with both hands because you have to stroke that ball a little bit. You have to hit that good. There's not many Ronnie O'Sullivan's in the world. Do you play with both hands? Yes. Uh, equally well? At snooker, equally well, yeah. Mm. Well, and she has that cue extender. So if she needed to reach, she could just use the cue extender with the left hand. That's one of the shots we probably, she wishes she could take back and have a do-over, a mulligan, as you will. <laughs> Joanne Ashton on the hill against Ashley Burrows in their first set on the outer table. Back to this one. Mighty breaking off. Well, it's a mighty break as it well. It is. Very good break. I think that's her best break of the day so far. Nicely on the one ball. Two ball down. Two right in the side. Look at that shot right up in the side. Yeah, and that is the ball you're looking for off that break as well. That's the wing ball in 10 ball. Nicely played. One to the three. Cue ball. Track the cue ball over towards the nine. You have to hit this very soft. Drawing it. Beautiful. How that did she hit that? That is a great shot. It, it takes so much control because it. She had to put low on it and. Beautiful drag, wasn't it? That was yes. really played that well. And now just a little draw out, basically to where she is now, sort of line. Oh, there's traffic here got to avoid the eight, the nine. I feel like her pace has slowed in the, these few shots here just a little bit. Yeah, I think it had to, didn't it? I always think if you can keep your opponent off the hill. Yeah, that's careless. Oh. Hmm. suffering at the moment it's well, pain I I feel so sorry for players when this kind of thing happens you know she didn't get the best of angles on that four to be honest right but I believe she thought that she could draw it up above the side pocket just a little bit and bounce back but it did not have that angle no she would have caught the nine had she had done yes, that yes right Another gift. Yep, just follow this out. Two rails, I think. Come in towards the seven ball. If you try to punch this one and punch it out, it's it takes too much control. You've got a nine there that you can get stuck behind. So I really like following this one out. That's a good shot. Okay, she's a little bit short though. I think 
She can still cut this into the side. Now coming out three rails is going to leave her quite an angle on the eight. Probably end up playing the eight ball into the top left. Or top right as we look. Shot clock was going off at the same time. Yep. I wonder if that was playing and on her mind. Yes, indeed it did, because the moment that shot clock beep came in, she quickly stroked. See that? Yeah. Little stab. Christina so. has a shot on the seven. Mighty. Back at the table. She roll it forward, or it's it's touch. It's a touchy thing. All of these shots are just just a little bit funny. That's the word right there. I think she needs to put a little low on this and maybe even run into the eight. Let's see if she does. Eight or the ten. Oh, she's drawing right back behind it. Oh, look at this. But I don't see where she could have been going with it there. No, I think I might have just punched it over to move the 10 a little bit, go full into the 10, and then yep. take the 8 into the side. And she's done well not to scratch there. If she had done, it would definitely have been all over. And there you see, I feel sorry for her, to be honest. She hasn't given it her best performance today, and she must have been looking forward to this so much. TV table. Great conditions. This is kind of when you wish you weren't on TV, though, <laughs> sometimes. <laughs> yeah, and, you know, I sometimes wish I weren't in the, in the commentary box as well <laughs> because it's... I f I, I'm, I'm a big softy, really. I'm very sensitive, and you I hate aren't. to see anyone lose. <laughs> I tell you what, she's lucky that 10 went in there because there might have been a, a combo had it had wobbled and stayed up. So because you have to call it, that does not count, even though... She made the 10. Can she hold herself together? Four balls away. It seems so easy, right? It's right in front of the pocket, but it's not because the 10 is big here. Oh, she's taking another risk here. I think that was a good, smart play, though, because anywhere over there, she has the shot on the eight. Yeah, just needed to make sure she was over that side of the table. Yes. So now it's a natural angle to come back behind the nine ball. Come on, mighty. She's just lost her stroke a little bit, lost her yeah, confidence or sight. Bit of deceleration. It's hard not to feel the pain. Yeah, and you know, you know for those that haven't seen her play before, I can guarantee she is way better than she's performing here. Just not quite on her game today. But she's a wonderful player and actually one of my favourites to watch, to be honest. Because when she's in stroke, it's a thing of beauty, her stroke. She can do wonderful things with the cue ball. But today, just not working out for whatever reason. It could be one of many things. You never know what a person is going through inside, right? Mm, yes. You're that... What's going on inside is what's affecting your game. And if you can shut it out, that's great. But sometimes it's just not possible. Psyching herself up. This then to go on the hill. And bangs it into the back of the pocket. And indeed she is on the hill. Don't forget, next up on this table, we have the wonderful Brittany Bryant. And she's playing an equally, equally wonderful player. 
top player from Australia. Goes by the name of Bean Hung. A wonderful player. So that's going to be an absolute classic, hopefully. And then, of course, we will then be able to tell you at 5 p.m. it will be Roja versus Matas, Portugal versus Spain. That's at 5 p.m. Mountain Time. <laughs> this has been a great venue to, to play at. So they have the convention center here, the hotel is attached. There's restaurants that have great food. So Predator has picked a really nice location for us to come and play. Yeah, the food has been amazing. That was a really nice break, that. Great break, seven in the side, got kicked in by the nine. Shot on the one. So she's on the hill. Yeah, take this on. That cue ball naturally heading down towards the two. That doesn't want to take any risk. Decides to keep it tight, and she's left a gap through there. Yep. Now she's got a choice here. This will cut if she feels confident enough to take it on. We might just play the safe. I think she's looking at the putting angle. She's going for this. She's at the point of no return. Not Good quite, but probably hasn't left any damage. Yeah, nice behind the nine, look. I think we might see the jump cue here. Yeah, let's go straight back for it. So if she can if she can jump this, it's a straight shot. Fairly straight. She's going to have position, somewhat position, on the two ball, naturally. She's very um, she's very um, athletic, isn't she? Look, if I put my leg up there, I'd never get down again. <laughs> I'd have to fall off the table. <laughs> so unfortunately, didn't make the jump. So come on, mighty. Show us what you really can do, because I know what you can do. Okay. She's got an opening here to redeem herself a little bit. Get the cobwebs out of the head. See, again there, the shot clock coming into play. Hampered slightly over the four ball. Needed to draw it back more than that. Intended to just play that shot a little bit quick. It's tough when you hear the the beeping because it's. I think if it were ten seconds, you wouldn't feel so stressed. But well, five I, seconds goes by very quickly <laughs> it when all, you're down. It always re reminds me of a heartbeat monitor, you know, in the hospitals where the beep. It sounds beep. just like that now yeah. that you say that. And that's kind of what you're, you know. Yeah. Oh. Oh dear, it looks like she just can't wait to get out of the arena, to be honest. It's a bad day at the office, I think you can call it. Yeah, that happens. Unfortunately, you know. if we all played perfect every time we played. Yeah, but look where the cue ball went anyway. She wouldn't have had any shot on the four ball. Look how close There's them is. lights again. Look at them lovely predator lights. It's beautiful with the balls. Look yeah, at the balls. Exactly. They're so colorful. That'd make a nice piece of art for my wall. It would. There you go. I haven't got a wall, though. <laughs> I have, I have to have one to carry around <laughs> with me to place in the hotels when I'm there. <laughs> I was going to say, you don't have a wall. That's an idea. Somebody should bring out some carryable art that you just pack in your, your suitcase. <laughs> art folds to go. Up. Yeah, art to go. There you go. I think we could start a company there. We Mark. should do. Hopkins and White. Art to go. Oh, 
You realise what we've just done there, don't you? No. We've just given someone who's listening a very good idea. In a couple of years' time, we're going to read of a millionaire that was listening to two people talking on a, a pool match, <laughs> had this idea of doing art to go. Say, wait, that was our idea. But see, it's documented, so we have it copywritten now. Does that count? I don't know. I don't think so. Bank shot here. Would you take a bank? Just stop the cue ball. Well, we have a very famous artist in the UK. He's a, started out as a graffiti artist. Well, he still is a graffiti artist, but he's very well known, multi-millionaire, and his name is Banksy. Is he a pool player? No, he should be though, shouldn't he? <laughs> yes, with a name like that. Trouble is, he keeps spraying paint all over the walls. <laughs> Okay, see how her jump, she didn't jump too well the last time, but let's see. Wow, Ooh. she really drove that into the bed of the table, didn't she? Yes, you know, she's getting up over the ball, but she's not, her aim really? is off. Really, see the way she's bouncing all over the place. I'll tell you what, that was coming towards us at one point. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to break our booth window. Yeah, mind our lovely plexiglass... <laughs> it's more of a plexi flexi, isn't it? It's very thin. <laughs> okay, nice. Draw back a little. Don't get on that shot clock. If she doesn't have a shot clock, you're going to have to move quicker so you don't. Uh... If she needs to be on the line. Well, she's going forward. It's okay. As long as she gets... So long as she can get past the nine, I'm not sure she can. Needed to be a little bit further into the centre of the table. Right. But I think... She yeah, I don't might know. be able to force it past the nine. Just glance off the edge of the Ooh. nine, maybe. Pinch a bit on the pocket. Well, this is a huge shot. And she's played Very it beautifully. Good. Very well good. played, mighty. Very nice. Perfect. Right off the nine ball, just the nip the nine ball, so it didn't take any of the power off the shot. Nice stroke. Now the same shot again over to this side rail. Just don't hit it hard, just stroke it in, mighty. You know, with these short sets, she can catch back up and get back in, then we're at a shootout. That can happen. Beautiful. See, that's, see, that stroke is just yes. gorgeous. And yes. when she does, when she's not, focused, you know, that she loses her stroke. That was beautiful to watch. That's as good as anyone in the world, that stroke right there. That's why and she's here. And in it goes. Well played, mighty. She's making a game of it. It's now 3-2. And there we do have another game going on, of course. And they are at 3-3 on the hill in their opening set. And we're going to go for a quick break, but we promise to come back.
For those of you interested in playing in mini tournaments, they'll be happening at 7 o'clock tonight. We have 10, 20, 50, and 100 dollar minis to go sign up for. Well, you rejoin us for an intriguing battle. at the table looking to make a ball she's put a huge amount into that eight ball in the side all oh, right well i'm not sure she's she's got a shot on the one she's got an easy safety to play wow what power she had yeah, that was that. tremendous i think there was all her anger in one shot there <laughs> i think it does go in the corner I think it comes in this bottom yeah. right-hand corner. Yeah, there you see. And she's got a chance to go around a couple of rails here. What a nice shot Beautiful that was. Beautiful shot. Now then, this is pretty acute into this side pocket. That was such a great shot with the pressure on. She looks totally different now as well. Get the safety behind the tent. Nice, good shot. That's a winning shot right there. And look, if she doesn't hit it, maybe there's a 2-10 combo one. Be nice to get a quick win and get break in to win the set. So she's calling this two over here in the corner. She's gonna kick it one rail. Put a little left-hand spin on it. And ah. She's missed it. See that? Ball in hand. <coughs> I don't Excuse think I would me. go for the combo here because all the balls are wide open and the combos are just yeah, too hard too to make. Yeah. Go for the run out. Definitely. She's and going she's for going the combo. For the <laughs> okay. No, I, I don't know. I wouldn't do mind. that. She's had a little look at it and thought, no. It's not hard to get on the three ball. So just keep yourself in line, get the right speed, feel the shot. Cruiser Probably. extension. Maybe come up a little short from where the six ball is sitting so that she has an angle on the three to pop over for the four. Yep, I like that. With you there, just She's like done that. exactly that. Maybe and then four, you further. can you can be pretty straight. You don't want to be exactly straight so that you're on the rail with the cue ball after you shoot the four, but fairly straight on the four. The five is right there. Low left, as you can see, striking. I'll just check it off that row. You see that just tease it down this end of the table. Very nicely played. Similar shot here, low right this time, just to stroke it in, stroke it down the route, bring the cue ball away. Straight is okay Very on the five nice. here, and Very that's nice. even better. Just roll it over to the rail and back out a little bit for a straight shot in the side on the six. Just shows you how quick a match can change, doesn't it, Dawn? It does, the momentum has shifted it looked like, like she was out it. yeah it looked like she was out of it yeah and now she's bouncing around the table again stroking the ball around with ease looking good that's not bad it's it's a little more of an angle i think than she wants yeah, i think she can just roll this in just drop it in there's two ways if she can go by the nine she could just draw it a little behind the seven and play this yes she can play the yeah. seven in the other pocket Oh, that's that just was careless. A careless you shot know, that is going to cost her. All her match. concentration was on the cue, uh, was on the cue ball there. Just wasn't even thinking. Oh, I feel so sorry for you, mighty. Yeah. To me, she's played the wrong shot there. Oh, mighty, mighty. I 
bet Christina can't believe it. She probably thought she was not going to be the one winning this game, or getting back to the table, I should say. She hasn't won yet, and of course, anything can happen here. That's what's so exciting about watching this game. Yeah, very wisely, Christina realizing this is the match winning chance. Just takes the time, calls the extension, goes back to the chair, wipes the cue down, and settles herself for the last three balls and three very important balls because yep. it will take her through to the quarterfinals. And I think. That might be it. As Tony Robles says, that's all she wrote. <laughs> Our buddy Tony. Breath is everything here because the getting towards the end, the nerves, you know, the, just the excitement of everything. Yeah. Um, she doesn't want to take too much time because that clock's running down and you don't want to hear them beeps again as you're down. Okay, she's oh. hit that too hard. Yeah. Why did she hit it so hard? Okay, still Left thinks she'll make her. it. Maybe a little bit of adrenaline in the arm there. Yes. That's that excitement I was just talking about. And you might have heard some applause on an outer table. Joanne Ashton has just taken the first set against Ashley Burrows by 4-3. This then to take Christina through. That's it. And in it goes. Christina will advance to the quarterfinals. It's game over, unfortunately, for Mighty Repero. Thank you so much for being in the booth with me again, Dawn. We're back with another match more or less straight away. Don't go too far. I'm Mark White. Thanks for watching. See you soon.